Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another World of Warcraft video. Today I'm going to talk to you all about one of the add-ons I use for my UI, Bartender 4. I'll go through the options for bars that you can set up and some of the general settings you can enable to get your UI as customized as you'd like it. First up, what exactly is Bartender? Bartender 4 is a fully customizable user interface mod that groups your action bars together to a more clean and organized fashion. You can move bars around, have your bars correspond to certain key bindings on your keyboard and mouse, position them exactly where you want them, save profiles so that you can use the general features and options on other characters, and a whole lot more. The way you set this up is going to be completely up to you, but I'll go over some of the basic features of my setup, so hopefully that can help get your creative UI gears turning. If you aren't sure on how to install the add-ons for your game, check out my video that I will link in the description box below. Once you've installed Bartender, it's time to start customizing. There will be a minimap icon you can left and right click for easy configuration when you need it, or you can type slash BT in the chat box to pull up all the options. Left clicking on the minimap icon will unlock the bars if you need to move some things around after you've set up your UI the way you'd like. Right clicking the minimap icon will pull up the Bartender 4 options interface to adjust and customize your bars. To hide the default Blizzard Art action bar interface, navigate down to the Blizzard Art bar and uncheck the enable box. This allows you to start with a fresh canvas to start positioning the bars where you'd like them. To start enabling and moving bars around, uncheck the lock box at the top of the menu. All the bars will turn green and you'll see that each one of them is labeled accordingly so it's easy to know which one you are customizing. There is also a very handy feature called bar snapping that should be checked. This will allow all the bars to snap together for easy placement. You have 10 total action bars to work with and you can start adjusting them the way you'd like to through the general settings tab. You have options such as alpha, which customizes the visibility of the bars, scaling, which adjusts how large or small the bars are, and padding configures how spaced out each button is from one another. You can have up to 12 buttons on each bar, which will depend on how many spells and abilities you'd like to have grouped together. You can customize the number of rows you have and a few other options regarding the direction of your bars and buttons, as well as some cleaner UI options that hide macro text or hotkey labels. The Visibility tab has a number of additional customizable fade out and hide options for the bars, as well as custom conditioning macros. For instance, if you're wanting your bars to generally be faded at 50% until combat starts and then have them appear fully visible during combat, you can set that up here or you can have bars set up for some of your favorite mounts you like to use, but don't want that visible until you mouse over it. That's another great option you can set up from this tab. The last two tabs are ones that I use very, very little or not at all. The state configuration is just a little bit more of an advanced option for this UI add-on. If I do use it, I've used it on a rogue character so that I still have access to my abilities when I go to stealth mode. The positioning is not something I really play around with either, so we're not going to cover these tabs for this particular video, but feel free to work with these options when you start setting up your UI. There are customizable bar options you can enable, such as the micro menu, which has all the character info, spellbook, talents, collections, and other utility options you generally want to keep in your line of sight. The bag bar, which you can consolidate down to one bag for an even more minimalistic UI and the status tracking bar, which is your XP and artifact power bars. The extra action bar and zone ability bars are bars that I also keep active and generally off to the sides of my regular setup. Once an ability pops up that I need to use for a fight or any quest that provides me with an extra button, I'm able to activate it quickly. One of the best things that I love about Bartender is the ability to custom keybind super easy. Click the key bindings button at the top of the bartender interface menu. From there, you simply hover over the button you wish to keybind, press whatever key you want for it, and it's automatically keybound. To clear it, just hit escape and it will remove that keybind. Once you have your setup the way you want it, it's easy to use that profile on any other existing characters you wish. By default, profiles are saved, 
So if you have a new character and you wish to use an existing character's profile rather than creating a whole new one, you can go to Profiles and from the drop down menu select which character whose profile you'd like to use. It will then automatically set your interface exactly as intended. So that's the Bartender add-on that you can utilize for your characters. There are a lot of options for personalization and customization of your own user interface, so I do suggest just installing the add-on and playing around with a lot of the different features to have a setup that's completely designed for you and your playstyle. If you have further questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching, leave a thumbs up if you liked it, and share it with your friends. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next video.